We got a bunch of injury updates to talk about here, some stemming from yesterday. So we were talking about that match with uh, the Zombies, and yeah. Damian Priest did a kick off the top and landed on Miz's leg, and Miz was selling his leg. And today, there's no Miz on the show. John Morrison says he's been eaten. Doesn't sound good for the Miz. Okay, so he tore his ACL, but we don't know the severity of the tear. Um, the last I heard is they hoped it was a partial tear, so that may not be that serious. If it's a full tear, um, you know, that surgery in probably, you know, seven, eight, nine months. Um, and, you know, at 40, I think he's 40, it's not the best thing in the world, but, I mean, he'll come back from it. Um, you know, I'm sure he will, but, um, you know, that's a lot of time off. So, um, hopefully, hopefully for the best, you know, that, uh, it's partial and he can make a quicker recovery. But, uh, yeah, that, that, that injury is legit. The Stroman thing that they said with broken ribs, I have no idea if that's legit or not. I mean, that, I dude, didn't... if anyone should have had broken ribs, it was McIntyre from when Stroman crushed him with that senton. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, McIntyre's fine. I mean, as, you know, I mean, he was there. He was, um, you know, so I think, you know, I, don't, I, I mean, I think he's okay. And uh, Backlash, not exactly lighting the world on fire? Well, I don't have any pay-per-view numbers, and even if I did, that's kind of a meaningless stat. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I had, I actually, I actually did have on uh, the, the day before the show, I believe it was. I got the advance orders, um, and it was terrible. But you know, it's advance orders for television pay per view. It's like you know, that's like a stat that's. If you if there were more than a dozen, I'd be pretty surprised. Well, like, there were, even if there I were, ordered it on pay per view, I mean, I don't order it a day in advance. I mean, yeah, you order yeah, the day no, of the show. There, there, there were there were there were more than a dozen, but there were. That's um, like the wrestling fans from the '80s, where it's like, call your cable company for availability. They tell you to call like a week in advance for the show. Yeah, so, so, but I mean, the Google Trends, it's the first time that I can ever recall a WWE pay per view not cracking the top 20. And, um, I think number 20 was 100,000. I mean, WWE, like the B pay per views are usually about 200. Um, I believe what was the one, the, the March show before WrestleMania did 140, which was incredibly low because the, um, AW show, of course, the AW show, um, you know the last the last one was the biggest one they ever did and that did like 210 in in, in um google trends you know it did about one probably you know 140 150 um you know in in you know probably close to 150 in, in buys maybe maybe more um i mean it's the you know by far the biggest one they ever did um but um so so the the yeah it the interest level wasn't there I mean that's the base, the basic gist of it. Um, I mean it was a good show, but um, you know I mean, and you could figure that going in. I mean, when you watch the TV, did it really make you hyped for it? No. I mean, you and I have talked about you know the build of Cesaro for the match, and there you go. You know, it's like you do it wrong for a guy who's never been pushed before, and what's the end result? Is not a lot of interest, and the three way is, you know, it's a three way. It's, um, I don't think that these three ways, unless you have the right kind of personal issue, I think a three way is like a booking crutch. It's just kind of like, oh, well, we'll do this. You know, like in this case, it was a booking crutch. It's like, we don't want to beat Bobby. We don't want to take the title from Bobby, but we're not going to be Drew again. So let's bring in Braun Strowman and he can take the pin. And that's what they did. But evidently, you know, um, enough people saw through that, that, um, uh, it does not appear you know, that it was a show of great interest at all. As far as other injuries, Kip Sabian, I guess, tweeted the he had a surgery. Shoulder and, surgery. All right, there you go. He had shoulder surgery. Um, so so the deal, it, it's he was already injured before the Miro angle. So the Miro angle was done for a television injury angle because he was going to have the shoulder surgery. So that's the basic background of everything. It, it, it uh, you know, so yeah. Eddie Edwards, appendicitis? Looks that way. Um, they were in, I know he's in Nashville right now, or was this morning, this afternoon. 
Um, I'd heard appendicitis, kind of checked, and um, it's basically what I was told is it looks like appendicitis, um, which is not a good thing at all. Um, but I don't have details as far as if he's having his appendix out right now or what is the situation. But, um, yeah, that probably went down um, yesterday or today. And um, I don't know this, but from the Saturday Under Sea show, you know, they had uh, – it was um, – who were the three guys? Um, it was uh, – gosh, I don't remember, but it was Eddie Edwards – and I think um, two other guys, um, I should know this, against Gallows, Anderson, and, and uh, Omega. And Eddie Edwards got the pin. Um, um, so the idea, I mean, it felt from what, from what I heard people watch the show that they were building to Eddie Edwards and Omega, probably for the July pay-per-view, because the June show was Omega against Moose. So it looked like Eddie Edwards was the one being groomed for the next shot. So this could very well affect that, you know, if, if it is and he needs, if he needs surgery. Um, two months coming back. It can be done. It's probably not a good idea. Well, it's not a good idea, but I, you know, I have absolutely known pro wrestlers who have come back in, in two months from appendicitis, from their appendix being taken out. Um I mean, it, it's it's the doctors will tell you three, but, you know, wrestlers being wrestlers, and if it's a pay-per-view main event, you know, two months from now, uh, the pay-per-views, I think, if, if he's in that show. Are you talking the six-man? The six-man from Saturday, from Saturday night. Eddie yeah. Edwards and Finn Juice against right, uh, Kenny and Finn, the Good Brothers? That's what it was, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah. And that must have been taped a ways back because um, – uh, Robinson and, and and Finley are actually involved in the next story probably that we're going to talk about. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work. Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.